Hi. This is probably the first time that I am formally sitting down and talking to the camera and introducing myself just because, as you can tell, I'm actually really awkward in front of the camera. My name is Andrea and I am a fourth year student in one of the top universities in Singapore. Why you always hate to break bread? Think about the way that you I'm sitting in this position just because it makes me feel really comfortable and I need to get a blue that's a pop of colour to this background so, I am actually a communications and new media major with special interest in journalism and all things broadcasting so a little more breakdown, I was actually in psychology up till my third year before I transferred over to communications which was my minor so I just kind of swapped it around psychology is now my minor and then communications is my major and because of such a late switch I just overload every semester this week that I'm filming my college life is actually one of my um, chiller weeks in this semester it's gonna be less hectic than my previous weeks. Essentially, I only have three things due. I have a sociology essay, a financial article, as well as a research paper that's due by the end of this week. And then on Monday, I have a financial journalism finals, and my last finals will be two weeks from now, so I still have more time to worry about that later. So my week is gonna be pretty boring. I think it's just gonna be a lot of studying and um, a lot of studying. <laughs> This is going to be my week and um, yeah, let's just jump right into the week of um, constant sleep deprivation and substance abuse. I've actually just been home all day doing work, mostly because it's like the last two weeks of this semester and it's just a shit ton of essays to handle. Like my usual setup for <laughs> work. I like to sit in this corner and have a lot to do work instead of sitting at a proper desk. So my mom got me my favorite stuff. Today is Monday and this is officially the last week for this semester. I just can't wait for it to end. Like this semester has been one of the worst semesters for me to be honest. Today is the finals for my financial journalism class and it's for three hours unseen paper with have to write an article. Our teacher is so generous. So at the very start of the semester, he actually bought some stocks just to show us how the stock market works and our stocks earned over a thousand bucks. And so he's using that money to treat us to food. So I'm just gonna try my best not to slaughter my grade.
good morning. It's actually 6.30 a.m. right now. I have been up since yesterday. <laughs> I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now Why the cottage room blows, yeah I wanna drown myself inside the juice, yeah You know I Yeah, it's, it's just the last lecture where you know you're usually tries to give, give tips or clues to the final paper but hell no they did not give any like useful tips we're gonna fill the paper it's only about six hours that you think that's really worth it just waste away don't know what life about so this is Kes and the both of us actually have uh Okay, what is it called? What's the module called? Oh, yeah. Media governance <laughs> regulation. I haven't slept a wink, so I'm very home. tired. So I'm going home. She's following <laughs> the class. <laughs> and skipping the last day of class, but it's really damn boring. It is damn boring. Right? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know the only one saying it. <laughs> there is credibility from um, someone who doesn't skip class. <laughs> I always have like one outfit per semester. Last year was a, a rugged biker with denim. <laughs> denim yeah, no, it's like a, I'm a designer. So I just ended the last class for this module called Sex in the Media. Like gender studies by talking about the effects that media has to reinforce or shape it. Yeah. Um, and I'm just rushing the final essay for it now. Do that. So it's actually they are selling their bodies, la, which they agree. Uh. <laughs> essential for society to move on. I mean, no, it's not essential, but it's like it's, it's a product of the system and the society at large. It's a systematic issue. Child prostitution, though. Could be. Especially like a byproduct of like poverty. Or byproduct of increasing sexualization. Uh, okay. Netflix and I found it. Another. So I ended up getting distracted by emails rather than finishing my mail. And then 
editing a video for a client. I do engage with freelance work and part-time jobs because, well, I'm a college student and I have to earn my bread. And yeah, that was it and I would just edit for the rest of the night. Hi, good morning and good morning to my giant pimple. <laughs> We are gonna get an expensive camera. <laughs> he wants to start vlogging. Because I don't start at level 1, I start at level 100. <laughs> over a shiver, over a shiver. <laughs> I was thinking that yeah, if yeah. I can join him at the tech fair, then maybe, I don't know, find a mic. Some yeah, like ASMR shit. <laughs> <laughs> videos you probably know that I lead a very quiet and boring life um, by societal standards. To me, to be honest, I love it that way. I am an introverted ass who loves staying at home. I am a homebody. Yeah. 